Hello nerds, welcome to Educational Thursday. My name is Katie and I'll be your host today as we learn about... Giraffes! Giraffes have been my favorite animal since I was a kid, so even though I know you're all experts on giraffe sex already, I thought I would take this opportunity to share with you some other interesting facts about giraffes. Giraffes are the tallest living land animal, standing at 5 to 6 meters in height. There are nine subspecies of giraffe, which occupy territory in much of Africa. The nine subspecies are the Nubian giraffe, the reticulated giraffe, the Angolan giraffe, the Cordofan giraffe, the Maasai giraffe, the Rothschild giraffe, the South African giraffe, the Rhodesian giraffe, and the West African giraffe. Physically, the subspecies are mainly distinguished from one another by the patterns of their coat. This is not always a reliable means of differentiation, though, as evidenced by the fact that several groups of Cordofan giraffes were believed to be West African giraffes until genetic testing revealed the truth in 2007. This information showed that West African giraffes were in fact much rarer than they had been believed to be, with only about 300 individuals remaining today. This means that the subspecies is endangered, which is the case for several of the subspecies of giraffe. Others, however, have tens of thousands of members remaining in the wild, with a total of about 80,000 giraffes living in the wild today. Just outside of Nairobi, Kenya, there is a giraffe sanctuary called the Giraffe Center, which protects and breeds Rothschild giraffes, another of the endangered subspecies. At any given time, there are about a dozen giraffes at the center, which are bred to increase the population and to produce new giraffes which can be released into the wild. Affiliated with the center is a hotel called Giraffe Manor, which has special windows and openings in the hotel so that guests can actually feed the giraffes directly from where they're staying. Additionally, all the proceeds from the hotel go back into supporting the center so that the giraffes can be protected. Giraffes are known for their distinctive long necks, which allow them to eat off of trees, reducing competition for food from other herbivores. The necks are also used by males in combat, where they fight with each other by swinging their neck in order to hit one another with the horns on the tops of their heads. These horns are actually ossicones, which are ossified cartilage, and in addition to their combat use, they also may play a role in regulating the giraffe's body temperatures. Another distinctive feature of giraffes are their tongues, which are a very, very dark purple, almost black, and super creepy. Although giraffes are generally quiet animals, and there's no particular sound that we know as the giraffe sound, they do communicate with one another in a variety of ways, including bellows, snorts, hisses, coughs, bleats, moos, and meows. Giraffes also use infrasound, which are very low frequency noises, below the normal range of human hearing. Infrasound allows them to communicate with each other over long distances, up to several miles. The giraffe's Latin name, Camilla Pardalis, is the result of a misconception by the Greeks and Romans, who believed that giraffes were a hybrid of camels and leopards. I'm not sure how exactly they thought that that hybridization happened, but that's what they believed. Giraffes were well known in countries along the Mediterranean in ancient days because the Egyptians sent them around a lot and the Roman Empire did like to collect exotic animals. After the fall of the Roman Empire, however, they became completely unknown outside of Africa. This changed in the 15th century when two giraffes were sent away, one to China and one to Italy. Both animals caused a huge stir in their respective countries. After this, giraffes weren't seen in Europe again until 1827 when three giraffes were sent as gifts by Muhammad Ali Pasha, the Viceroy of Egypt. He sent one to Roman Emperor Francis II, one to King George IV of the United Kingdom, and one to King Charles X of France. It was this last giraffe who became the most well-known. She was shipped to Marseille where she spent the winter before walking the 900 kilometers to Paris. She was accompanied on her 41-day journey by her caretakers as well as three cows who provided milk for her as she was still quite young. She was a huge spectacle in every town that she passed through along the way and also caused a sort of giraffe mania in Paris after her arrival. She was such an attraction that her body was stuffed after she died and remains in a museum at La Rochelle to this day. The caretakers of this giraffe are believed to be the inspiration for the French expression peigner le giraffe, literally combing the giraffe. This is an idiomatic expression, which means working in vain at a long, useless task, or more generally, to be wasting your time. I hope this video hasn't been a waste of your time. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to be awesome.